So you want to make money playing video games. YouTube and Twitch are not the only ways to actually do this. You want to play games that pay you to play them. You want to make an easy $100 playing Fortnite. Here is a guide going over 10 ways to make easy money gaming that you probably have never heard of. I do quickly want to go over the two that I know you're all aware of before we go over the other eight ways because they are very powerful platforms. Buying games and sharing gameplay online is one of the easiest ways to make money. So yes, everybody always mentions YouTube and Twitch and that is because it's simply a time investment, nothing else. Gameplays do not do that well, but doing challenges and guides for games is something that people always enjoy watching and prefer over a simple gameplay. There are tons of other ways to make money with these platforms. Affiliate marketing, sponsors, brand deals, memberships, donations, etc. All of which you can do with less than 100 subscribers. So if you have time, recording gameplay and streaming has never been easier to do. Just make videos that you would watch personally, which I imagine is not a gameplay of a game that you're playing right now. And why I said to do challenges or guides, just remember to title the video as a challenge or guide that you personally would click seeing. I've had a YouTube channel for seven years and it took me two years to get my first 100 subscribers. So if you aren't seeing growth, do not let that get you down. It's hard to grow, especially with gaming because it is the most saturated niche on YouTube and Twitch. So just let time do the work for you and be consistent uploading at least one time per week. So now the ones that you probably never have heard of. Win gaming tournaments. This is easier said than done because you do need to be very good at games in order to win. Fortnite is a really good example of this with that gaming having tournaments all of the time. Winning money for winning is always a thing done in these Fortnite tournaments, but you do need to be very good at the game to actually win. So sinking that time into getting better will take a while. Next is carrying people to win in the game that you're playing. The most popular game that this is done in is Destiny 2. You don't really have to make people pay if you stream and title the stream trials carries. A lot of people will watch you that you can make money from in that way. But of course, posting the Destiny subreddit or other Destiny communities that you're doing trials carries for like $5 or $10 is always a way to do this. You don't necessarily have to have a Twitch or a YouTube channel, but it is easier to make an income with them. Starting a website or working for a website, writing gaming articles is another way to make money very easily. To get started with this, you can go to a place like Fiverr or Upwork as a freelancer to get your name out there. Or you can just simply start your own website, which that of course will take you some time to learn and nothing that I would be able to explain in a timely manner in this video. But as you're noticing here, making money with games is a time investment. So if you have an hour or two to spare each day to learn something new, you can eventually make a very large income from this. We aren't talking about making the $60 back that you paid for a video game. We are talking about making hundreds and hundreds of dollars every single day and thousands of dollars when you actually grow bigger. Host a gaming podcast. This is probably the easiest thing to do because you literally just talk about games, gaming, consoles, PC, new gaming hardware, or tech. So if you have a few minutes each day to read some articles, making a podcast off of the knowledge that you got from those articles is extremely simple to do. You just need a microphone, phone, PC, or laptop, basically anything that can record audio, and then you just upload it to Spotify, YouTube, 
Apple's podcast thing, etc. You can also get paid to test video games. This has a bit of a catch because having a YouTube channel, a Twitch channel, or a website will of course make this work much easier, but you can still test games without any of those things. It's just going to be a lot harder to get into the testing programs because so many people sign up for them. However, reaching out to a company, hosting these testing periods and emailing them a YouTube, Twitch or website link is pretty much a guaranteed entry into actually doing this. It doesn't have to be a massive channel or a massive website. These gaming developers that are running these testing programs know the power of having a website or a social media following, whether that's big or small. Selling accounts for video games. Again, I'm gonna use Fortnite as an example here of this because it's a game that everybody does this with. If you want to buy the season pass for the current season inside of Fortnite and you have the time to get all of the stuff in that battle pass, you can then sell that account for a hundred to two hundred dollars on a site like eBay very very easily which is the only site that I would use personally because you can get the buyer reviews so that people that are looking to actually buy an account can see that you're a legit seller plus you also know that eBay is actually going to pay you the money for selling that account you can also use something like Facebook marketplace to actually do this even if you spend the $100 to buy the battle pass and then instantly unlock all of the stuff inside of it for Fortnite, you can still sell that account for $150, making an easy $50 profit. But of course, that is a bit more risky because who knows if Fortnite is going to be as popular by the time the next battle pass comes out or season comes out. If you buy physical games with a YouTube or Twitch channel, you can sell the game and make a huge profit off of what you paid after making content on that game. Collecting physical games and selling is a long term way to make money. Some newer PS4 and PS5 games are going to take a while to actually be worth a lot of money. And no, you don't have to not open them because there's tons of games from the Super Nintendo that are already open that are selling for four, five, six, seven, eight thousands of dollars right now. Flipping games is honestly pretty fun and something that I used to do. Going to yard sales, grabbing games that are dirt cheap, playing them and then reselling them for a profit is something that I used to do quite a bit to be honest, but you need to know your stuff and what games are actually going to be worth money because you can overlook some crappy games at a yard sale that could be worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This is a very simple way to make a little bit of money because yard sales always have games for sale and then you can just flip them if you have the time to wait and actually get paid for the item that you're listing on something like eBay or Facebook Marketplace again time time is a big aspect to everything that i'm going over because you build your brand as time goes on whether that's selling stuff carrying people etc of course leaving a like and commenting to help support the video and channel is always appreciated and i really do hope that this helps anybody looking to turn a hobby into something that actually makes you money but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video Remember, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!